Hi guys, Ace here. Welcome back to We Gotta Save. Save. There we go. Now, Miss Mouse, follow your nose. It's probably in room three. It's in room three, whatever we're looking for. Not four, three. Ba no, wait. I misread it. It was five. Room five. Mario- Oh, it's the stupid dry shroom! Let's just get- Eh. Okay. Alright. To the conductor's room, the- the engine room. Oh, music. Nothing here. Means there won't be anything in this entire area. The, these earrings have to be somewhere. I feel like she would have smelled them if they were in here. I just want to check each room. Just get, I don't know. Yeah. Oh, hey, Johnny Cage. <clears throat> Autograph. I only said. Hmm, perhaps that young Bubcha just wants something from someone he admires. Whatever it is, we must find it soon. A yummy, sticky, dangerous. I'm guessing it's probably not an autograph. Because it would be too obvious now. Oh, his autograph! The train conductor's autograph. Yay. Yep. Now, where are these stupid earrings? Huh, there is something in here. She points in the direction she smells something. She points. Let her, let her do her job. Okay, it's nearby. Oh, I saw it. There we go. Okay, we cleared out that room. Wait, wait, not yet. Nope. I was, I'm not. There, she didn't smell anything. That means it's cleared. What if the earrings are on the roof? Uh, I probably not because we only gain access to that once we're ready to fight the boss, I think. And how would they end up there to begin with? I don't know. We're... <laughs> I don't know where they are at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hurdy doody 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 Just sell the stupid dry shroom. There, we're done here. No, we don't need, we have a lot, too many items. Looking for earrings. Yeah, but. That's why we have her. Okay, and yet not there's nothing there. anywhere. Yeah. Well, let's go to the, the bob -ons room. So, did you bring me the... Hey, yeah, bingo, mister. That's what I wanted. You're a good detective. Here's something for you, just like I said. Oh, a shine sprite. Cool. I think you're gear for it, I promise. I guess... What? Nighttime. Oh. I just remembered something. I found myself one blanket trope when I was handling out them out to passengers. I gave the last passenger my own blanket to make up for it, but it's vexing. I have a a exact blanket accounts. It means someone came on board without a ticket. 
That story might be your suspect, Mr. Mario. Not only that, but if I don't get my blanket back, I'll be too chilly to sleep tonight. You could look for the unticketed passenger and get that blanket. Uh, thank you. Call me Blanket P.I. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Alright. Nothing here. I guess we have to talk to Penguin again. No, that's not Penguin. Pingu. Next room. Ratatouille. Uh -huh. This is an unticketed pastor, just as I suspected. Sure. <laughs> the conductor was one blanket short, eh? Then we are hunting a lone intruder. That would definitely rule out the family in cabin eight. Rudimentary, my boy. And that is the only hint I will give you today, my sleuth apprentice. That's because you're terrible at your job. You must strike out on your own with that little nugget of investigation, investigative wisdom while I take all the credit. <laughs> Of course, I have other hints to share if I choose no truly. For example, the unticketed pastor is without a doubt our gummy, uh, your yummy, sticky suspect. Sure. Whatever. No, there's nothing in there. Where the heck are these earrings? It might be one of those things that we can only solve one mystery, at, uh, one problem at a time, and it'll show up when... Uh, yeah, this is the unoccupied room. Well, she doesn't smell anything, then there can't really be anything in there. That means the only possibility is talking to everyone. Hello there, it's just a fine specimen of a man. What marvelous! You, you solved a rather tough little mystery, didn't you? Yes. We're so ruggedly smart. I'm not... I, I can't decide whether or not to give her a toy. What did we agree to? We'll see. We'll find out. Looking for a gold ring. Oh. Yeah. Gold. Another ring that we're looking for. <laughs> so we found a mobster's wedding ring. Now we're looking for a maid's e earrings from her ex-boyfriend and also a gold ring from a, wit a rich toad. It's empty, like... Uh-huh. Yes, yes, we said... This thing is stealing food! <laughs> this room. The empty one. Is there a way I could, like, hide in here? Like, be invisible? And, or... Yes. I just remembered that. Hello, ghost. Gee, I wonder who might be stealing stuff. Should I? What should I do? Casper, the friendly ghost toad. Who so you found? <laughs> well, as you see, I'm a ghost. I'm cursed to haunt this place. A blanket? Well, yes, that conductor did leave one here. He didn't realize that I'm a ghost. A yummy, sticky threat? No, I left no such thing. I cannot even hold physical objects like that, like pen and paper. What? You just want the blanket then? Well, I'll tell you where it is if you do something for me. What do you say? I don't help ghosts. Five. Who are you gonna call? 
All I need is your life. Of course. No, just kidding. <laughs> Actually, I passed away in this cabin many years ago. Who let that happen? But I think my luggage is still in the baggage car here. Inside my bag is a diary I kept since my earliest childhood days. Who lets somebody die on a train? I don't know. Who uh, lets a train derail and uh, uh, thousands of tons of toxic chemicals spill all over? Anyway, Accidents I can't happen. leave this room, so can you please find it and bring it here? If you do that, I'll show you where the blanket is. Isn't it just on the bed? Yes, <laughs> but it's, we can't get it until we finish this quest. Oh, a horrible fate awaits you. We're totally going to read that diary. Just like some flora. Let's switch to curb again because we want to go fast. Got to go faster. The ring and the earrings are probably in that uh, storage, too, back here. Do you find it? What? A ghost? Eek! And he won't give you the blanket unless you get his diary from the baggage car? This is totally sketchy. I, I believe it immediately. <laughs> I mean, booze are a thing, and, and also doll bones, so I mean... <laughs> Yep, everything's gonna be in here. Let's switch to Ms. Mouse. Or just there. But I'm guessing the other stuff is in here too. No. Or maybe not? Nothing else in here. Huh. <laughs> should, should we? Do it. Do it. Absolutely not. <laughs> it won't game over us if we read it. He's 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 a friendly ghost. Yeah. I don't do it. No. 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 Yes. Yes, this is my diary. Very well, your blanket is right there. You were very wise not to read my diary, friend. Oh, if you had read it, you might be a spirit like me right now. So he's gonna kill us. But now I can go peacefully on from this world. Thank you very much. You'll probably never meet me again in this world, fare thee well. He's going to heaven. Or not. Well, actually, maybe not. I've been here so long, I've gotten kind of used to it. The wallpaper's so great, maybe I'll stay here just a little while longer. I can leave whenever, so that's all there is to it. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah, well, meh. Episode. I've been Ace Cupid up your sleeve. We'll be right back. Bye. That was a that was a ghastly episode. Yes.